Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk all about dermal rollers. These are a really great at-home option for simulating collagen. However, there's a lot you need to know about the safety and also doing it in a way that's gonna be effective for you and your skin goals. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. My name is Rachel. I'm a board certified aesthetic nurse specialist and please go ahead and subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a question in the comment section down below. You guys loved our last dermal rolling video that we did together with here with my husband. So this is Gabriel Varga, pro athlete who, you know, he likes to have great skin too. A lot of men really like dermal rolling because it's a really easy at home, very discreet thing that you can do to promote collagen. And what are some of the key aspects you've enjoyed from doing dermal rolling, some of the benefits to your skin? The benefits, uh, yeah, number one, I would say it's really helped decrease ac acne scarring. Mm -hmm. uh, it's decreased the lines or little, what do we call them? Pigments, pigmentation. Yep, brown spots. Brown spots in the skin. Mm -hmm. And really important for me is it's managed to decrease all the scars that I have from stitches from competition. Mm -hmm. So I have about what, 60 stitches in my face and, and you can't really tell. Most people go, oh really, you, you have those? And then I went, oh yeah, they were very prominent, especially very red yeah. for a long time. Uh, they weren't so much noticeable because we have uh, good surgeons in town, but they were very, very red. So mm -hmm. yeah, after using this, the uh, skin tone has matched the, the rest of the skin on my face. That's great. And your forehead lines actually are in your mid thirties now. You look better than you did when I first met you when we were about 25. Yeah, I had some, some pretty bad sun damage by the time I was 25 from the, uh, the convertible, convertible, yeah. convertible car. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are going to answer some of the questions that we didn't get to answer in my other dermal rolling video, which you can check out here. All right, first of all, number one question I'm asked, which roller do I use? What depth? What brand? How do I use it? What products do I use with it? Well, first of all, that's a lot to cover in a video, so if you haven't already, please have your one-on-one -on -one skin consultation with me at rachelvarga.ca. I'm happy to meet with you and spend an hour discussing all things skincare, dermal rolling, and other at-home and in-clinic rejuvenation options and give you the whole plan. I do have a pretty incredible, sophisticated skin cheat sheet that you can just download off the website, rachelvarga.ca as well. All the information is gonna be in the show notes below, so don't worry if you've missed anything I said, just check out the content there. So. One of the key things you need to know about rolling is that there are different depths. So basically, this is a point one, this is a point two, this is a point three. You can do maybe like a point five at home as well. You don't wanna go any deeper than that. Anything deeper than that is gonna be really painful, too painful for you to wanna do at home, and is gonna be more in clinic. However, I prefer that you do dermal rolling at home as opposed to microneedling in the clinic. Some people aren't gonna be very happy with me saying that, but I love rolling at home and then doing some laser options as well. So, how do you pick which one is gonna be right for you? Well, you can kind of leave that up to me. I'll guide you through that whole process, but you don't wanna to start too deep. So doing like a, start with, starting with a point one or a point two and then graduating up to a deeper one after about six months to a year. Once your skin's kind of gotten used to that, it's great. So these types of rollers here, you know, they're plastic with the metal needles and this one's gold. So if you're wanting an option that you know, doesn't have any plastic to it, the gold one is a great option. They do all feel a little bit different. These ones have a very similar glide to them. And then this one, the weight and the glide is pretty incredible. You do pay for what you get with this gold roller. It's about three times more than these ones. I personally prefer the feeling of the gold roller. I feel like I can go a little faster with it. I have a bit more control. It's just uh, you know a higher quality product, simply put. So the directions that you roll is pretty simple. So 10 times this direction. So the speed, you're basically actually going quite quickly. So paintbrush like pressure. So 10 times this way, vertically, 10 times horizontally, lift up, go to the next location above or below, and then on an angle. So you're almost doing sort of like an asterisk. And then this is about the speed that I like to do with my rolling. And then with the forehead, just keeping your strokes straight and not curved is really important. For your brows, just follow your, your orbital rim or your eye bone. You will feel the needles a little bit more along bony prominences. 
And then for the eyes, just look up for me, Gabriel. You can basically get as close as you're comfortable rolling with the roller into the, around the eye area. If you have any questions, obviously just ask me to call. Uh, and then for the nose, sometimes you can actually just turn the nose a little bit and get that. And then for the upper lip, go straight over the pink of the lip. This is fantastic for uh, almost like a non-injectable lip plumping, helping with those vertical lip lines and promoting collagen there. If you are prone to cold sores, however, you do want to just uh, obviously not be rolling over areas where you have active infection or something happening with your skin so you're not inadvertently spreading some microbes or viruses around, so that's really important. So for the, for the face, you're basically doing one pass here, one pass here, and then on each angle. And then for the neck, just do vertical and horizontal. Just do the two passes. When you go off face, things do get a little bit more sensitive. So do the face, do the neck, the chest. It's gonna take you how long? How long does it take you to roll? I'd say if I'm doing a full proper, with the 10 strokes up, 10 strokes up, and then moving sideways, I'd say probably three or four minutes. Yeah, so I would say for me, when I do my face, neck, chest, and back of the hands, it takes me about 10 or 15 minutes. So how do you use your roller? Cleanse the skin thoroughly, then you do your rolling, and then you follow it up with the serums that I've laid out for you. You gotta be careful with the products that you use because after rolling, you've created these little channels of injury in the skin. So your products are basically being absorbed transdermally as opposed to topically. So it does matter what you apply. You don't just wanna be using what the latest influencer is telling you to use. Go buy devices, medical grade rollers, and the proper serums afterwards that have been proven through research to be safe and effective. This is number one. This is, there's a reason why I'm not telling you exactly what brand of rollers these are, exactly what depth is gonna be right for you and your skin concern, because you could take that information, go to a third party auction website, and sure enough, end up with some counterfeit, low quality device. This is a bit of an epidemic of people buying these things online and having the needles, not be needles, but in fact blades, or the needles actually coming off and embedding into the skin. This is a, another problem that I've had some colleagues tell me. That doesn't sound very good, does it? That's terrible. No, so you gotta be really careful with these things. Uh, the rollers that I find there that are you know, 20 to $30, those aren't gonna be good quality products. They're gonna dull after probably about 10 uses. These rollers, these two here, are good for about one and a half to two years of regular use two to five times a week is pretty the recommended time frame of you know how many times a week you can roll and then this gold roller is considered a lifetime device which is kind of cool so the other cheaper ones are gonna you know they'll dull after about 10 to 15 use that's why they're they you know in the descriptions of some of those lower quality rollers they'll say you know they're disposable 10 20 use types of rollers so Pretty simple to use it. You just need a little bit of guidance and know how to get started. I don't recommend just purchasing one of these online and then trying to go for it yourself. You know, do have someone work with you to figure out number one, if this is gonna be right for your skin goals because a lot of times people will try these different products or devices or in clinic treatments and they'll kind of be underwhelmed with the results that they're gonna get. So it's all about setting realistic expectations and what is this gonna do? It's gonna promote collagen. It's gonna help with acne scars, scarring, thickening up the skin, reducing some fine lines, wrinkles, pore size, and all of that good stuff, which is great to use in conjunction with everything else that you're doing, like your skincare and some of your rejuvenation treatments. Have I missed anything? Uh, we, did you talk about frequency of use? Two to five times a week. Two to five times a week. Yeah. So what I like to recommend when I meet with you is to just stabilize your skin first with a couple of you know, four basic products that I've customized for you. And then you start to use the actives a couple of nights a week. And then for after about two weeks of using your actives, then you start to roll. It's not the other way around of, okay, I bought myself a roller. I'm just gonna go for it and then put on whatever you have in the cabinet. That's not the right progression. So I just love helping people figure out how to do this stuff properly and, you know, get the best sort of bang for your buck, if you will, and not waste your money on some of these really great methods, but it's just about getting your hands on a really high quality device and knowing how to stabilize your skin from expected reactivity. Because sometimes when you do these treatments, you can get a little red and reactive. So having the right moisturizer on hand to mitigate that, the right scrub to mitigate any flaking is really key. Yeah, I don't actually ever remember having any irritation from it. I know you said some people do, but now this one for me was really nice because 
There was no uh, no redness, no no post or uh, after day irritation or anything like that. Yeah, and the day after rolling for me personally, I mean my skin is noticeably smoother and softer feeling. What about you? I don't touch my face, so I don't know. No touching. Well, I definitely like to touch my face. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so smooth and soft. Uh, so rolling, it's a great long-term option for promoting collagen. And yeah, just in conjunction with everything else you're doing. So any final words? Nope, I think I covered everything. Cool. So as you can tell, there's a lot to know about rolling. So if this video was like, oh my gosh, there's so much more I want to find out about rolling, if it's right for me, just book a call with me, rachelbarga.ca. Happy to help. All right. Thanks so much for joining us today, Gabriel. And thank you for joining us in this video as well for learning all about thermal rolling, the depths, the different brands, how to use it, how often to use it, how long they should last, and all sorts of exciting things. See you guys in the next video.